I believe that the governor's uh, proposal today is an encouraging first step, uh, and I appreciate and applaud his efforts to achieve sustainable savings. However, uh, I remain convinced uh, that we can achieve additional substantial savings through reforms and other government efficiencies uh, and not rely on a broad-based tax. Uh, we'll continue to look for those efficiencies during the weeks and months that follow, uh, and I look forward to working with the Senate President, with the Budget Chair of, uh, of Assemblywoman Eliana Pinter Marin, and then the Committee, and Majority Green Leader Greenwald, and the Governor uh, to bring about a, 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 a budget that is fiscally responsible uh, and provides to make New Jersey a little bit more affordable. I think today was an excellent first step. If you look at the document in its whole, we made tremendous progress from last year. It is really a continuation of the budget that we presented back to the governor last year that he has executed. It's a refreshing uh, change to not have to start from advocating again for good public policy and, and legislative initiatives that are taken out year after year by different governors and we have to fight to be put back in. I'm very proud that the governor over the course of the last year has worked with the legislature to understand the importance of the fair school funding formula and the next execution of that and recognizing that need for property taxpayers. Many people said that that achievement would not be possible. We shut government down for a few days a few years ago to fight for this. Look how far we've come. Many people said pension reform and pension concessions and health care concessions were unobtainable. Uh, the governor showed today and all the people at that table deserve credit for that. Um, that has been an amazing achievement by any standard to find almost a billion dollars in savings. And I think it sets the framework as the legislature takes on its responsibilities for our next steps. But I would echo the comments from my friends, the speaker and the Senate president. We have our job to do now to do a deep dive into this budget. And I do truly believe that as we are all attempting to try to find a level of tax fairness and affordability in New Jersey, that is not just going to be achieved by taxing one segment of society and hoping that it benefits uh, the middle class. We live in a state that has the highest property taxes in the nation, and we've tinkered around taxes for years, and none of that has reduced it. So I hope, as I stand here today, that we can begin a conversation about deeply reducing the burden of property taxpayers for our residents, not just holding it to minimum levels of increases, and doing it as we did today on pension reform, on pension concessions, health care concessions, and truly funding our school funding formula as the governor showed we can do today. And I, and I applaud him for those efforts, and I look forward to working with him and my colleagues in, in this venture. And I will tell you the leadership standing at this day, along with the governor, uh, I have great confidence can achieve those goals. I, I want to echo uh, Senator Weinberg's uh, message in the sense that when we were briefed yesterday, uh, we saw a different tone. We saw a tone of, uh, of, a, of uh, an extension of wanting to work together, of a compromise. Um, and I think that what he presented to us is really um, him listening to what the legislature had to say from last year to this point, which was we got to find savings. We can't just keep increasing taxes because at the end of the day, um, we don't want it be we don't want that to be the only message. I think that there's some really great things in the budget. Obviously, uh, no governor has ever issued their budget, and that was the only budget that was signed. Um, and I look forward to beginning the, the budget process, to really having a, a conversation with the commissioners um, and with the committee and trying to find different resources um, and, and trying to think outside of the box.